Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr CVP. It is Friday the 7th of August and we have new mods. We also have some updates. The updates are as follows. From the bottom right today we have got updates to the slurry shaft package by Razak Project Mecklenburg 17. Uh, we've got updates to the grain storage by Missy B, the metal gate by Stoneway Design and the open shed by Stoneway Design. The chain harrow by Luca Modding has been updated. Um, the big brick house by Casper has had an update. Uh, the challenger and Fent MT by FS Modding and Patrick have been updated. Um, there's a new uh, Seasons Geo for Ischia Farm. I always get that wrong by Black Eyes Modding, um, and there's also an update for the Wooden Toilet by Castan18, which we're going to look at in just a second. Okay, so one of those updates was this in front of me, the Wooden Toilets by Castan18. I'm just going to show you this, only because it made me smile when I saw it in the mod tub, and I thought, hmm, I'm going to have to check it out. As far as I'm aware, the door still opens like it did before. Oh, look, no one's replaced the toilet roll. I'm sure I said that last time. But the difference with this is now, if we go into Purchase and we go to Miscellaneous and Deplaceables, right at the very end, we've got two of them now. Wooden Toilet Manure, Wooden Toilet Slurry, 400 for each, um, and uh, 11 slots for each of them, because they now have um, a trigger. The trigger on them, I have just checked, just to make sure they work. Um, this one here will do manure. So if you back up behind it, you can collect the manure from the toilet. I know, don't even get me started. And this one is the slurry one. So if you back up a slurry tanker, slurry spreader, you can buy the manure or the slurry from the toilet. I just thought that was a clever little addition there. I like that. Um, so anyway, on to the first of the mods for today, and it's these here. Um, these are new builds. Um, this is the small houses by Consi. They will use five slots each. They're two different designs in that you've got this one here with the kind of side addition and this one here with the centre section. Each one comes in both these styles so you can have the white or you can have the all brick. It'll make more sense when I have a look at it in the store. I say they're a new build because they're apart from the kind of brickwork they're fairly plain um, and if you go inside and you can go inside you can open the door they're fairly basic inside as well it's just the structure there's no detail we've got stairs that go upstairs but the rooms themselves are just very kind of plain these are designed to be de decorative objects so if you're building up your map and you want to add some different buildings for a bit of variety you can have one of these for your sleep through the night trigger if you get one of the doormats or something you can put a doormat in front and have it as your house if you want to go down that route um, these you will find under placeables under decoration point I was making really badly was the brick 7 meter by 5 meter the tall single standing one comes in either the brick or the white and then the one with the side addition on the 7 meter by 9 meter also comes in brick or white so both in both variations like I say five slot seats the price is a little bit more expensive you go for the white over the brick on both of them um, but yeah not too bad at the end of the day I mean it's, it's a placeable and Use them for whatever you want to use them for. Um, we're going to go straight on to this, I think. This is brilliant. The Steiger came out recently. It was a little bit sticky in the menu. I was having a few problems with it. It took ages to go through. Um, this is the STX Quad Track by NEFG Modding. Um, what's good about this is it actually works out cheaper than the Steiger, and the Steiger was pretty cheap. When I first saw this and I thought, I installed it and I thought, okay, it's great, it's going to be another Quadrat 1 where you're going to be spending 600000 you know. Not so. Um, there are some nice options available on this. You can have standard row sets, or you can have row tracks, which raises the whole thing up a bit. Um, and you've got, there's a whole load of options. Anyway, we'll have a look around it. Nice tidy mod. The frame size does change, so as you go up through the engine sizes, pretty much like the Steiger, there's a few different options, EU and US. On the back we can have standard hitch, we can have weights, hitch and weights, you can have a three-point link, we're going to again have a look at those. Um, but yeah, 
nice mod. Something to add in. So if the Steiger with wheels wasn't your cup of tea and you wanted something with tracks, this may be what you're looking for. Um, this you will find under vehicles, under large tractors. So the Steiger is there, but this is the STX quad track. So the initial price you look and think, oh, it's going to be expensive. The Steiger starts at 95 grand, this starts at 145. But don't worry about that. It's all good. So configuration, we can have it standard. On the front, 300 kilogram weight, 500 kilogram weight, seven or 900 kilogram, then back to standard. So we'll leave it with the 900 on for the time being. Um, extremities, you can have none. You can have the US spec with the light bar across the back for the US spec, or you can have the EU. Now, something also worth pointing out is, if you go for the US spec, you don't get beacons on the top. If you go for the EU one, you get beacons on the top. So if you specifically want beacons, I don't think the one that had nothing, did that have beacons? No. So the one that has nothing, doesn't have any of it. So yeah, like I said, if you want beacons, you're going to want the EU version. I uh, don't know why they've done that all together rather than a separate beacons option, but anyway. Um, let's go with the US. I don't know why. So on the back, like I said, we can have a standard uh, hitch on the back. We can have it with the weight block. And we work up through the weight options until that's full. And then we can go to the three point. The three point adds, adds 27,500. I found, I think a lot of people found, unless it's been adjusted or changed, on the Steiger, the three-point was 27.5 on that as well. But if you hired a worker, it went to pieces. And when I took the, the hitch off, I didn't have any problems. A few people found that. Some people found it depended what you hooked up to it, but, I mean, I'm just putting it out there. I haven't tested this to its max yet. There's no way I could have done it. So it's just come out. But those are your options on the attaches on the back. Then engine setup... We go from a 375, 375 horsepower STX, a 380 STX, 380 quad track, all at 380 horsepower, then a 385 quad track, a 425 STX, 430 STX, 430 quad track, 435 quad track, 440 STX, 450 STX, then when we go to the 480, it changes the engine bay because it's got to have a bigger engine. So that gets wider. The whole lot changes. Uh, so we're now up to 480 horsepower on the STX. 480 quad track. 500 STX. 530 STX. 530 quad track. And a 535 quad track. Now, if you recall, the Steiger was cheap i think i paid 330 grand um and i think without the, the link on the back it was just over 300,000 for 535 horsepower so at the moment we're sitting at 260 grand with 535 horsepower not bad so if we go now and look at the options for our belts we've got a 30 inch belt at 80 inch track width sorry th yeah 30 inch tread width on an 80 inch track that's the best way of putting it then a 36 inch tread width on an 80 track then we go to the row tracks and the row tracks raises the whole thing up so it all goes up and then goes onto row tracks we've got 18s on an 80 inch 21s on an 80 inch 24s on an 80 inch 30s on an 80 inch then we've got 18s on an 88 inch 21s on an 88, 24s on an 88, 30 on an 88, then we go out to 120. So 18s on, an eight, on a 120 track, and then same with, again, 21s, 24s, 30s, and then back again. So we can go up to a 30-inch tread on a 120 track, and the price is still saying 260 grand. So we've got a 535 horsepower quad track, on row tracks, 30 inch, 120 for 260 grand. Even if I add on the, the three, oh no, that is with the three point link. <gasps> oh, that's just saying, realize then, if I take that off and just go with trailed, 237 grand for a 535 horsepower. I was over the moon with the Steiger. That's incredible. Then on the top, you can have GPS, 
yes or no it adds 1500 that's your choice but i mean blimey so this one i went with the rotrax that's 120 inch i think they're 30s this one i went with the standard 36s i think i went with on this so let's jump in it it's fairly loud same as the Steiger. Someone did mention in my comments recently about could I change, turn the volume down of the vehicles. Some of the vehicles recently, and you'll find with the Fiat Agri sitting over there, the vehicle volumes are quite loud on some vehicles, but not all of them. I haven't changed my vehicle volume since I started playing FS19. I set it at 60. That's where it stays. So sometimes the vehicles themselves are just louder. The problem is you can't keep changing the volume every time you get into a different vehicle. Not on console, and when you, when you can, but it just becomes a real pain, especially when you're recording and stuff. So, beacons on the EU version. Lights. Horn. If we open it up, L1 and X. No, hang on. Let me open this menu. Oh, it's closed cover. So L1 and closed cover puts that bar in, and it does the same on the US version, so it puts the light bar out or in. So we can go out just to cover over the tracks we've got. Um, we've then also got door open. So L1, R1 and right stick. And we can open the door like so. I find on the tracks is a little bit more responsive than the Steiger. I find the style can be a little bit sluggish in the turns. This one kind of returns to normal and adjusts a little bit quicker, I think, than the Steiger. Maybe get one of these, I'm just thinking. So, in cab, nicely detailed. Let's turn that off. Engine off. Everything goes off. Screen on. I love that, the monitor turning on. Cycle throw light options. I don't think we have anything on here anyway that shows the cycle of lights. yeah very nice indeed so that's the stx quad track by nefg modding no wicket clowns gonna be very happy so there we go that one does exactly the same like i say it's just on a narrower track with slightly wider treads on these but yeah very nice bit of kit that uh moving on let's go to this we'll just work our way forwards i think gradually now I thought we already had this. I was convinced we did. There are a couple of extra options on this, I think, than the one that we had before, but I, I'm, I, I thought we did. Anyway, um, this is the Fiat Agri 180 by Paolo Princip, or Princip and STV Modding. 33 slots. Oh, that's 49 slots, by the way. 49. Mm, yeah, I mean, it's up there, but then the bigger tractors always are. So... This is 33. This is the same. Very loud. Uh, nicely detailed mod. It's got a few additional little bits up there. But again, I don't know if, I don't know if it would be different on PC, but on console, I'm a little bit, again, hmm. You'd understand what I mean. Under medium tractors. So, the Fiat Agri 18090. I, I used the Fiat Agri on Sussex Farms and then got rid of it because of how loud it was. I like it. Don't get me wrong. It sounds like a Challenger tank. It's awesome. Um, fairly cheap as well, 180 horsepower, um, like I say, 33 slots, it says two there because I've already got one, as soon as you get the first one, the slot count drops for any duplicates you get. So we click on options, and there aren't that many options, I'll be honest with you. Rim colour, we can go with the standard, or the standard but in matte, and then you can have anything else on that colour palette you want to, which is very weird considering the colour of the actual vehicle and you can't change the color of the vehicle you get it in that fear agri kind of rust brown kind of color um configuration we have standard 450 kilogram weight 900 and then back to standard <coughs> excuse me wheel brands we've got trelleborg and michelin those are the only two we've got michelins that's what you get just standard with the trelleborg we've got standard and wides that's it for your tyre options as well. There's not a lot of on there. Um, and then design, we've got... And this is where it's a bit weird. On top, we'll, we've got... Standard, 
trumpets, like horns, beacon lights, beacons and trumpets. You have extra lights which put them inside the main lights on the front of the cab, and then you can have all. So you can have the extra lights, the trumpets, and the beacons. And with all of that, that brings it in at 36,200. So nice and cheap. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, I know it's got a few more options like opening and closing door and that kind of thing. Let's start it up from a distance. You'll understand why in a second. I, I love the sound of it. I think it sounds amazing. Now here's the thing. I've paid for extra trumpets. If I do my horn, honk, R1 and X, So I don't know whether on PC you get a proper like air horn thing if you get the trumpets, but it hasn't made any difference. I've bought them and but the beacons are on the top. And if we go R1 and right stick, we can open and close the sunroof. L1 and right stick. Sorry, L1 and right stick side to side opens and closes the rear window. L1 and right stick up and down opens and closes the door. Like so. And those are the options. Like I say, it's quite loud. Uh, inside, nicely detailed, let's turn it off. Luminescence. That's it. I mean, that's the tractor. Um, I don't know. Is it me? Or am I just imagining things? But... There are, like I say, there's a few little options on there. Like the extra stuff on the roof. What I need to do is go back in and look at the original one that I've already got and see who made that. That might have been STV modding. So potentially the upgrade, the things that have been changed on here um, could be why it's got Paolo Prenseep on there. But anyway, regardless of that, that's the Fiat Agri 180. Uh, moving on, we've got this. This is the Vicon Vibraflow 1500. Um, this is a fertilizer and lime spreader. Nice little small unit, 1,500 litres. Cheap to buy. Um, it will only use four slots as well, which is rather nice. If you couple this with a front tank that will hold lime or fertilizer, well, you can increase your capacity. This will spread out to 18 metres. Three point link mounted on the back. Nicely detailed. Uh, this is by Farm Centro Sul, and you'll find it under Tools, under uh, Fertiliser Technology. There you go at the end. 9,500 to buy. Um, it will fertilise and lime spread at 12 miles per hour. Like I say, 1,500 litre tank, and only four slots. There are no options available. You get what you get. You get the tank, and you put your stuff in it. Um, very nice indeed. Uh, on to the next one. We have got this. This is a step deck. This is the Lizard Excalibur step deck trailer. Um, this is by Farm Sim World FS Modding, and it's a step deck. Uh, this is hasn't got ramps for loading. It's a, it's a true step deck, but blimey, is this thing long? Straps long, full length. Quite a few colour options and rim colour options. I went for gold because, of course, why wouldn't you? <laughs> Um, but there's a nice, I'm trying to think now, there was an animation, yeah, when you un, when you unhook it to wind down the landing gear, the, the bar goes and, but uh, yes, yeah, nice mod. If you're looking for a nice long trailer for transporting your stuff, pff, look no further, this thing is huge. So, I think this was under low loaders, I think it was. Yeah, there we go, Lizard Excalibur. 28 grand to buy. Um... And like it's only five slots, not too heavy on the slot count. Again, like I know it says one there, but I've already got one. Um, rim colour. Let's go. Oh, actually, we can't zoom any further out, so you have to kind of look down to the right for rim colour. But rim colour, we can have polished metal, chrome, gold metallic. There's black metallic, blue metallic, green metallic, yellow metallic, orange metallic. And then we're kind of on to the standard colour spectrum. Um, you can pick, like, say, whatever you want to go with. I suppose, thinking about it, 
as soon as it's green it should have the green metallic shouldn't it but main color we can change to anything on that palette as well we've got a few options available to suit wherever it is you want to go with um th those are the options that's it there's no tire options or anything like that um although changing the rim color and the main color is that next for three yeah that's a lot of money isn't it three grand to change the main color or three thousand five hundred to do the rim color three thousand to do the main color so if you're quite happy having it in green you can have it a little bit cheaper um so what we'll do if we hook up to it you see the handle wind gets put away the fifth wheel come uh, the um landing gear comes up out of the way like i say this is long it's a big old unit very nice though Very cool. Uh, straps you can do manually or from the cab, all on or all off. It's entirely up to you. But yeah, very cool indeed. I like that. Um, that's by Farm Sim World and FS Modding. Not much else to say about that one. Um, I'm just checking on the mod hub to my right to make sure nothing else has dropped because yesterday La Coronea dropped much later than the mods. So I think we're on to our last mod. I was really hoping the uh, the 2020 from 82 squared was going to be released today alongside this. Um, this is the 20 foot gooseneck tipper trailer by 82 squared Zanarko. Nice mod. I'm really loving the blaze orange at the moment. <laughs> I seem to be picking up on a lot of stuff. Um, 82 squared logistics. But it is a gooseneck tipper trailer. Uh, it's got a few tricks up its sleeve. This one's 26,000 litres. If you get the one with extensions, it's 30,000 litres. Um, there's quite a few adjustments. This will go on a gooseneck, so whatever vehicle you've got that will take goosenecks. I've found the flatbed TTH. Get it wrong every single time, Don. Let's get it. TTHD. Yeah, the Lizard TTHD has the gooseneck and you can adjust it, which is rather nice. Turn the lights off on that. So, nicely modelled, nice size. Like I say, this one's 26,000 litres. But with some very nice features. So, what we'll do, swing it around. And, um, I'm going to open the help menu, just so I don't miss anything. So, unfolding the tipper does this, L1 and X. So, it puts ramps out. If you want to put a small vehicle, skid steer loader, pallets on there, if you want to take pallets and take it with your skid steer loader, you can use it for that. So you can transport smaller machinery, pallets and things, if you want to put them inside. Nice touch, nice to have that on there. I quite like that as an option. But it does give you a few more options on that. L1 and X, close that away. The cover, rather than just that bump bump, you know, on off. Open cover, L1 and side on the D-pad. Sliding cover. nice touch now if we come round to the side i've got to get this right uh r1 and right stick side to side will raise and lower the gooseneck so depending on what you're towing it on you can adjust it to get the level right so sorry r1 and right on left and right on the right stick will adjust up and down uh then if we go l1 and right stick side to side we can put the landing gear down ourselves so what you can do is put the landing gear down yourself manually then disconnect if you don't when you disconnect it does that it drops off but the landing gear will come down when you hook up they got themselves so what you can do is lower the landing gear first manually like so then disconnect and you don't have that same drop um, when you when you disconnect it um, I like that. Again, nice feature to have if you want to go for a slightly more realistic kind of approach to it all. Um, and then L1, R1, and unload here. Opens the back doors. Whole lot tips up. And this, as I, if I recall, has got a really high tip. Um, so if you're in one of those cell points where you've got quite a low building, low ceiling, or an animal pen, this is probably not going to be the thing you're going to want to use because you're probably going to hit the roof. Um, 
But yeah, nice high tip function on that. We can have a look at all the options in, in, in the menu in a second, but I just thought I'd show you it. Lights, so we have lights on the back, running lights down the side of it as well. Just close the cover again. There are some mudguard options and various different things like so. Now, this one with the extension, like I say, takes up to 30,000 litres. I've got slightly different tyres on this. I've got mudguards front and rear. Again, there are some other options on that. But this one, if you get the extension, you can't... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you can't put ramps down. There are no ramps that come out of this one. Um, this is just extended so you've got larger capacity. If you want to have the ramps that come down, you need the basic version, the standard version. Just any thought, does that have... I hope I didn't miss it. I think it has straps in the back. I just want to unfold it. Just thinking, because if you do put pallets and stuff in there, if you take a vehicle in, are you going to want to strap it down? Hmm, nothing's coming up. Ah, okay. Well, I'd better to check now. It's one of those things I'll finish recording and think, ah, oh, you know what I should have checked. I do it all the time. So. In the store, what do we get? What are our options? Well, this you'll find under regular trailers. It will take everything pretty much, as you can see down the bottom. It's really cheap as well, which is fantastic. Eight grand, car nods that. Only six slots if you're on console. Um, rim color, we can change to anything on that palette. There's blaze orange, there's nitro blue, deep blue, Deer green, you know, there's a whole array, chrome, aluminium, dark steel for the rim colour. Main colour changes the main body, um, so you can go for any of those, like I say, if we go for the nitro blue, for example, or you can go for old orange, um, old blue, if you want to. Um, obviously anything on that palette, but I was just looking at those ones in particular. If we change the design colour, it changes the cover. So we can go for the or anything on that palette. I mean, let's be honest, deer yellow, scarlet red. So to match up with whatever it is you're using, you can change the cover colour as well. Then, like I said, we've got basic. That's the one you want if you want to have the ramps that come down. Or you can have it with extensions. Extra two grand takes you from 26,000 litre up to 30,000 litre, like so. And back to basic again. Uh, then as far as mudguards go, we've got standard, back mudguard, both mudguards, back to standard, tension belt, ah, right, tension belt active or inactive, I didn't put that on, that's my fault, so on the basic version, there's inactive or active, if you want tension belts, you want to put it on active, I didn't do that, and you know what, weirdly, I'm thinking in my head, I'm sure there are tension belts on this, that's why, um, and then wheel set up, we've got standard, Nokian, wides, and back to standard again, we'll go a little bit closer, you can see those. So standard, knock-in, and wides. So a few options available. Very nice mod. Like that. So, uh, I th think... And th this time I did the, the tractors first and that kind of thing, I know... You know, it's part of videos and, and, you know, you leave the good stuff to the last. You get people to watch, that's the whole point. But anyway... Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.